What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Subside and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this very simple combination lock for your Minecraft worlds. And this Minecraft combination lock is really simple to use. All you need to do is once you've set up your buttons in the order you want them clicked, just quickly press the buttons. If I could do it uh, in time and that will open up your whatever door you want and turn on whatever light you want. Hello Kevin. And this will also prevent anyone trying to get into your secret base. For example, if they know the buttons that you press in, they need to hit it in a certain combination. Otherwise this isn't gonna work. I didn't mean to break that button. So basically if they hit the right buttons, but in the wrong order, it won't open. If they hit the right buttons in the right order, but do it too slow, it's not gonna open. And any other button on this board isn't going to open the door at all. So let me show you how to build it. So for this material list, I've excluded any materials you're going to use to build your actual wall itself and just stuck with what you need to actually build the locking mechanism. Now it looks a lot more complicated than it is, but trust me, this is really straightforward and really simple to build. So what we're going to need, one hopper, three droppers, 10 redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, three torches, redstone torches, nine buttons, 20 building blocks of your choosing, one block that you're not going to be missing anytime soon. 30 redstone dust, that's a bit overkill, but just bring enough redstone dust and about four glass. And the glass is depending on where you want your buttons to be. So I'd recommend this setup, it's a lot easier to build. So two at the bottom, one at the top, or like this one over here, two at the top, one at the bottom. It just makes the redstone on the back a lot simpler for you. So for that in mind, first thing we want to do is pick where your blocks want to be. And to start, I'm going to put different colored blocks there, but you can just put a different block, just so you know where they are on the other side. And then we want to place down our nine buttons over all of them, like so. Now coming around the back, you want to know which ones you want to press first, second, and third. So for me, I'm going to press that one first, then the green, then the purple. So we're going to get our block of quartz. We're going to build four blocks underneath each one. So from the bottom block, one, two, three, four. Same from this one, one, two, three, four. And from the purple, one, two, three, four. Grab your redstone repeater, and for the button we click in first, I'm gonna put down four repeaters. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna set all these to the maximum tick speed. So hitting them three times, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now for the button we're gonna hit second, we're gonna do three repeaters. So one, two, three. And we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And for the last one that we're going to click, we're going to only place down two repeaters. But then make sure you're putting them to the max tick speed. Next, grab your redstone dust. We're going to place one here and two here. Grab your building blocks. We're going to place a temporary block in front of each one. Then a block on top of those. Getting rid of the ones underneath like so. So it should be looking something like this now. You've got your redstone and your blocks on the end. Coming around the other side of this, we're going to place down our redstone torches. So one here, here, and here. And now what we need to do is make a redstone line that connects all three of these torches. So what we're going to do is come one block away from the torch. We're going to get a solid block and we're going to place this across the bottom like so. So these two torches can reach that. On the end, we're going to place a temporary block and then a block of glass. There's another temporary block down here and a block of glass on top and then we can get rid of that. And then you can use your solid blocks then to come across in front of this torch. So get rid of your temporary blocks. What we're going to do is place on the redstone. So redstone in front of this torch like so. Coming down to this glass. And the reason we use glass is the fact that redstone can actually go through glass. So it comes down and then we can make it go back on itself like so. And then we're going to bring this all the way across and two blocks away from these solid blocks. So that's the main part of the redstone done. Uh, it wasn't so bad. Now we need to make the T flip flop. So we're gonna go for a basic T flip flop. We're gonna use a dropper hopper system. What we're gonna do is place a dropper facing up like so. Come around the back, we're gonna crouch and place one facing towards us. Turn around and we're gonna place one on the floor facing towards this block like so. Grab your hopper, crouch and place this on the top. Then grab whatever block you don't need, and we're going to place this in this hopper, in this dropper, sorry, like so. What we're going to do is grab our comparator, have this coming out of the back, like so, with some redstone. 
gonna test if this is working so to do that what we're gonna do is just break this redstone dust and place it back down that should light up your comparator that's how you know it's all working and once you've done that we're gonna grab our last repeater we're gonna break that redstone put a repeater there and then some redstone dust that's just gonna increase the power so it reaches your door or whatever you're using this on and I'm just gonna build a little stairway up to our light system just to see if it's working from the front so what we're gonna do is place some redstone up to that which turns that light on now what I'm going to do is press the combination, which was, our combination was yellow, green, purple. So do it quite quickly. So yellow, green, and purple. That should turn off our lights. And that's it for the tutorial. So if you found it useful, remember, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you like this sort of content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.